Well, hello, my beautiful and amazing crafters. Welcome to another video of Crafting with Shanita. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload and assemble my lip balm purse template. Now, when you bring the design into Cricut Design Space, it will be an SVG that will be already grouped and sized. So you don't have to worry about scaling it. I will include a file size for each of the elements as well as the template. And I'm also including a little bonus flower and a bonus lip balm wrap with the purse template. So once you upload the file into Cricut Design Space, you want to ungroup the file and then start working on changing the cut lines to score lines for each of the elements. So I'm just going to move the lip balm wrap and the flower out of the way so I can show you what files need to be changed from a cut to score line. Now this is the actual chapstick holder that would hold the chapstick in place and you just want to change the two bottom lines here to score lines and then two on the side to score lines. So for the chapstick holder itself, it's just going to be four score lines and two cut lines, which are those little half hearts. Now this is the section that goes in front of the purse if you wanted to have an embossed look or a layered look, and this would only have one cut line. And this is the actual purse template itself. And let me move these out of the way. And for the purse template, it would have the little slot at the bottom is a cut line and then the two lines here in the middle will be score lines. And make sure to select everything and click attach. That's very important. And now you have everything changed, your cut lines changed to score lines. You could start creating your design for your lip balm purse template. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a design. I found this image on Google. It is just a background image that I brought in as a PNG and I'm just going to create my design. For the little Snow White um, image. I got that from an Etsy show seller. I will put the link of the store in the description box below. And I just wanted to show you how to create a design for your purse template. The, um, at the purse template, these two pink um, templates will, be, will go in front of the purse. And I'm just going to do like a 3D look with the little Snow White. And then these two will be the inside of the purse where you could put your sentiment. And then I'm going to have a matching design for my lip balm wrap. I didn't use my flower template that I'm including in this particular design, but it's there if you wanted to use it. I decided I wanted to do a little red apple instead of the flower. So I brought in an apple from Cricut Design Space that I would use as just a cut file. And now I'm sizing everything and get it ready for me to send to the mat for print and cut. Now that I have all my pieces cut out, I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling the purse. I made a few, um, I'm gonna be using some of my foam dots, in my little bin to put my little scraps in, and I'm getting ready to assemble. Now the template that I've created, you can place two on one piece of cardstock and here are the score and cut lines in the purse template. This is the section that I'm going to put in front and I'm just showing you when it's assembled how it's going to look. You could do one solid color like I did here or you can do two colors like I have here with an embossed look. The 
it's endless possibilities so here is my little lip balm wrap and you can resize this and here is the chapstick holder so for the chapstick holder once you cut it out you'll just glue it at on the other side so the chapstick is nice and snug I'm just showing that you can emboss it as well if you want to have that look So you just put your chapstick, place your tabs, and then glue it down so it's nice and snug. And you can size, resize the lip balm wrap. The size that I have listed will fit a 0.75 chapstick or any kind of lip balm like this. Super cute. I hope you enjoy this design. I work really hard on my templates. So when you get them, you're able to just straight use them without any issues. So for this design, I'm going to do a 3D look and add the little apples to the purse, which is so darling. I had these little gold bowls from I got from Amazon that I added to the purse, to the tab. And they came out so cute. When I was uh, putting everything just together, I wanted to add another bonus template um, available for you. Just in case you didn't want the tab, I created one without. My original design, it was going to be without a tab that you could just Velcro close. But I kind of went back and forth. But I decided to add that as a bonus file for you just to say thank you for purchasing from Crafting with Shanita. So... You'll get two of these designs. You'll follow the same steps, change the score line, I'm sorry, change the cut line to a score line. But one will come with a tab that you can seal and then one will not. So if you wanted to use Velcro to seal it, you can do that. So I wanted to give you those two options. And the little tab on top will allow you to match everything. And let me show you how they look and how they are assembled. So the template with the tab, I included this little additional piece. So that way when you put everything over and fold the tab over, it's one seamless color and it just looks more put together. You can do the one without the tab and use a piece of Velcro to seal it together. And this is what the flower looks like as well. So I wanted to give you two different options to choose from. They both look amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope you learned a little bit or a lot. And you know we are ready to see you on the next video of Crafting with Shanita. Happy crafting!